Super DSLR. Super. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going over um, a quick color correction, color grading, whatever you want to call it. This is this is color grading. Color correction is more for when you're just matching footage. This is grading, really. It's adding style. Um, so in this one, I'm just going to be talking about how to color grade your footage in a way that avoids using expensive plugins or Magic Bullet or any of those tools, which are usually like really great tools uh, and pretty easy to work with. But this is low budget filmmaking, so low budget color grading. All right, so let's jump into it. So basically, first thing you want to know is right here it says 32 BPC. That's bits per channel. And I like working in 32 bits per channel for color grading just because it gets a lot of the depth of the artificial color that you put in. Your footage is not actually 32 bits per channel, but um, the color that's applied will be. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to take my footage, which is 720p, 60 frames per, per second. I'm going to drag that into a new comp. And you'll notice this image compared with this image. Um, pretty bland, kind of boring, but we're going to add some cool effects to it. So, I'm going to find a good starting point. I'll just do this. All right. Find a good frame to work with. There's a static shot, so it doesn't really move. Oh, I kind of like that frame. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do um, up in the search bar here for the effects is type in brightness and contrast bright so under color correction you'll find brightness and contrast and drag that to your clip some people like using an adjustment layer for um, in your composition um, but if you're working just with singular clips individual clips um, this is the way I work and it works really well if you're trying to apply an effect to a range of different clips adjustment layers is probably the easiest way to go alright so in the effects panel up here uh, effects controls uh, we're gonna do contrast first. So I like keeping contrast in between zero and ten. Um, for this clip, deep in there without clipping the blacks. But what a lot of people do is they get up high here to, you know, like forties and fifties, and that adds that clips a lot of the blacks. So you'll notice right here that this is there's no detail in here. It's just black. Um, you want to keep that deep. There it is right there. That's negative contrast. But you'll see at zero right here that uh, there's still some detail in there and in the darks and, and here and stuff so keep between 1 and 10 uh, for this clip I'm going to go ahead and do 7 brightness uh, keep in also between negative 1 and negative 10 or if you want to make it brighter 1 and 10 so for this one I'm going to do negative oh, I'll just do negative 5 that might change once we start applying effects you know I Look, I'm losing a little bit right here, so I'm going to change this to uh, 6. Alright. Next thing I like to do is add a hue and saturation under color correction again to the clip. I usually just put the saturation about 3. You only get too high. Uh, a lot of like TV spots may have high saturation, but for film effects, you want to go with any between like 1 and 5, or negative five and five actually. Master lightness, same thing as brightness, pretty much. Keep that at zero for now. Next I'm gonna add a curves adjustment. Curves is probably one of the best tools in After Effects that comes with After Effects because it allows you to affect um, the shadows and highlights like a ton um, with the these uh, curves. Um, so what I like to do is I drag in two curves effects and that way I can kind of get a wider range of colors and stuff um, and it's easier for me to work with um, the best to get the best use out of curves you want to shoot in a flat picture style I think I used a Philip Loom neutral style preset for when shooting this on my T2i um, but yeah so first thing we're going to do is raise the highlights a bit in the first curves adjustment and you want to raise it in this uh, like first box right here because that will be the highlights. The next curve we're going to lower the shadows, the bottom left box. So not lower it too much, don't want to lose that data. So that's like a split contrast curve. Um, not too contrasty, I don't want a lot of contrast in this picture. But uh, it gives it some more, you know, bigger contrast. <laughs> Alright, 
Actually, I'm going to go... Oh, I'm going to go to green. I'm going to do green here because it's kind of like a foresty scene. It is a foresty scene. There is a tree and a forest in the background. And I really want to bring out this moss. I really like that moss. So what I'm going to do is just going to take the middle of the curve here, the green curve, and you see how much range you have. Like you can get it all like purple, give it a weird look, you know. But I'm gonna give it a nice, robust green. So even like that much. So it looks pretty green right there. Um, but yeah, that's affecting all from shadows to highlights. So in the second curves, I'm gonna clip down some of that green. Just absolutely green, but it'll give it a little bit more color. Um, in this, I like this branch, this tree right here. It has a nice robust red color. Um, it's kind of the brighter red, so I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of red in the somewhat highlight range. And that'll bring back some of that and also some of that up here. And then the curves, really don't want them to be much blue, so I'm going to bring down the blue in the second curves. So that gives you a nice... I like that kind of warm look to it um, with the green moss and everything. Alright, minimize those. Alright, next thing we're going to do, something that's really popular nowadays, is vignetting. So we're going to do that by taking a solid, black solid, make comp size black. We'll call it vignette. There are a lot of tools and plugins that um, help vignetting, like Magic Bullock misfire vignette um, but this is I'm just going to show you how to do it if you don't have that so you have your black solid and you take the ellipse tool then you're going to take from the upper left hand corner click and drag until it fits the comp pretty much so that's probably good and you're going to the transfer mode from add to subtract so now you'll notice like this like people look to it and what you can do with this is make it so it focuses the audience's attention on something in the middle of the frame. Um, and it also gives it a very nice f cinematic look. So I'm going to choose the mask, press F, and feather that. I like having a pretty large feather to it, so I'm going to add, I'm going to take it to like 270. And this looks really cool already. Um, but it's a little, you know, it gets totally dark in the corners. That might be a little bit much. So I choose the whole vignette layer. Press T for opacity. I'm going to change that down to about 60. So that way you still see the corners. They're just darkened and your, uh, your attention is focused in the center. Next thing we're going to do. Next thing we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, this really cool... Uh, tool I came upon when you know messing around in After Effects and it's called search gradient in the effects bar and you'll see this um, under generate it'll be four color gradient and I really like this says this can add a lot of style and gives you a lot of versatility uh, in the frame I'm gonna drop that in there oh make sure it goes on the actual clip not the vignette clip so you'll see it's just like plastered over there um, but you can basically add these kind of colors to your movie to make it super cool. One second, I'm going to minimize all this. First thing you want to do under the four color gradient in the effect controls is change blending mode to color. You can already see it at work. Um, basically what you have to do is just move these, these colors around with their anchor points here. and get whatever style you want. I don't really like that harsh of a blue, so I'm going to change that to a little bit of a lighter blue. Maybe change this yellow to a little bit of a more orangey. Uh, maybe a little less orangey. Like that. Alright, so opacity go ahead and put it 26 26 percent so now you can see it's really subtle but um, I'm just gonna adjust the anchor points of these colors to where I like them so I'm gonna put the purple down here I just want a very small hint of purple right in that corner the blue I kinda like the blue in these shadows down here 
uh, on the underside of the tree. So I'm going to put that a little bit closer than the purple down there. The green, again, I want to get that moss. So I'm going to put that to the side here and get that. And then I have this like orangey color that I kind of want to hit the um, side of the tree in the sky with to give it a little sunset vibe. A little less purple. Maybe a little less blue. But yeah, this is really like whatever you want. I'm not, this isn't, you don't need to do it this exact way because uh, you want to add your own hint in there, add your own style there. Even less blue. So, it's subtle, but I like it. Maybe change the opacity down to 25. Um, and yeah, there you go. That is coloring the footage. Now, one final thing you can do is add letterboxing to give it that film look. So you go new solid. We'll call this letterbox. Make sure it's black. And then what you want to do is turn on proportional grid here and take the rectangle tool and line it up with this first uh, line, first horizontal line, take it to the last horizontal line. Make sure you get the whole frame there. And then make that mask subtract. And then you can turn that proportional grid back off. So then um, you have your mask there. If you want a bit of less, a little bit of less uh, letterboxing, you select the whole layer, not just the mask, and select the selection tool or press V. And then just drag the whole layer by one of its top or bottom points. You get a little bit less letterboxing. So there you go, that's a pretty cool picture. Um, maybe one thing you might think of is a bit dark. So if you ever experience that, you can go back into you know, brightness and change this to like negative three. And I'll bring back some of the brightness or even take the curves and raise the highlights a little bit more. But you don't wanna clip anything. There you go. That is a pretty cool image. Um, and uh, yeah, that's color. That's my way of color grading. Um, I'll probably do some other. Um, I'll probably do some like, you know, maybe some different tutorials on Udic Bullet or any other presets or plugins, uh, just to kind of like knock that out because I know people like those and they're easy to use if you know how to use them right so I will do that post bow any other tutorials you'd like to see or um, any questions you have and I'll get to those and uh, yeah I'd love to get ideas for tutorials so let me know alright see you later bye <laughs>